Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day fifth of the Lico April Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Ooh, and I always check this not because I'm, I am I uh, am looking up my rating or anything, but up up on the upper left, if you could see, there's a Feeling Lucky. I don't know if I'm pointing the right way. One of these directions. <laughs> feeling Lucky. Uh, yeah, if you click on it, you got 10 coins. Yay, 10 coins. All right. Oh, no, let me reset. Uh, okay. Today's poem is 2439, minimum, maximum of array. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. I might have already said it. So, okay, so you're going to seal index array of numbers of non-integer, non-negative integers. In one operation, you can choose I, any I. You can decrease numbers of i by 1 and increase i minus 1 by 1. Okay, return the minimum possible of the maximum integers of numbers after performing any number of operations. My first intuition is binary search. This is because it always usually is. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, learning a little bit from yesterday, just trying to think whether... Um, Whether uh, there, there's a greedy solution. Um, so the one thing to notice is that, you know, when you look at this operation together, what it really does is that you're moving a number from the right to the left, right? So basically, for example, it's almost like, okay, moving the 7 to 4 and so forth. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do binary search. Uh, I feel like that should be okay uh, on the answer. And each the biggest number could be 10 to the 9. So so basically now we're just binary searching on the final result, which is going to be the number that we change it to and whether that is possible. Um, yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just checking it in my head. But okay, n is equal to num nums, left is equal to zero. Um, this is basically if the number is zero, which actually is, cannot be possible. Oh, actually, I guess it could be possible. So we'll do that. And then right is equal to 10 to the 9, just say plus 5. Uh, uh, yeah, and then now we do a regular binary search. Um, the way that I always describe these is that I like mine to be inclusive bounds. Inclusive bound meaning that this is a possible answer and the right is a possible answer. The reason is because if when this range get, goes from so many numbers and then to one number, then we know that's going to be the answer. Um, okay, and then we set mid is equal to left plus right divided by 2. We go, okay, if good is mid, if, if this is a, if the mid is good, that means that we want to choose a smaller number, right? Minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah. We want to choose a smaller number to try. So we said right is equal to mid. Um, knowing that mid is good and this is an inclusive bound, so we know that the right can be, you know, inclusive. Otherwise, left is equal to mid plus one, and then we just return left at the end. Um, or you go to return right. Uh, that's part of the beauty is that left is equal to right when this terminates. So, yeah. So then now we have good uh, target, say, right? Um, and I'm, I'm going to be a little bit lazy here, and I'm just going to reverse this input once. So then now we can go from left to right with the same idea, right? So, okay, so maybe we have a carry flag. Um, so then now for x in nums, we have if x is greater than or equal, or just greater than target, or uh, mm, how do I want to write? So we we add a carry to x. We set carry as equal to zero, and then if x is greater than or equal to target, then carry is equal to x minus target, right? Um, and then at the very end, we just want to make sure that carry is equal to zero. If carry is equal to zero, that means that we don't have any leftovers, and that means that every number is less than or equal to target. Um, if I did it correctly anyway. So that's basically the logic here. Let's give it a spin. Looks good. Let's give it a submit. 
And that feels good. To, oh, 1100 day streak. So that's pretty okay. Oh, a little bit slower. Maybe there's a greedy way. How did I do it last time? No, I did it with this last time too. Uh, <laughs> I even did the reverse thing. Last time I was pretty slow as well. Huh. Mm, is there a greedy solution? I'm only thinking about this because you, uh, usually I don't care about the big O. I mean, not, not, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Not that I don't care about the big O. I don't care about execution time. I, I care about the big O. Um, let's go over this real quick. Um, this is going to be, you know, there's going to be over log R iteration, right? Where, where R is the range of the number. And each of these is going to be linear time. So this is going to be O of N log R total time. In terms of space, this is just O of 1, eh, maybe O of N if you count the reverse, but you don't actually need to reverse it, I was just lazy. So we can maybe pretend this is O of 1 space. Now, can there be a greedy solution? Right? Hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, because usually when you're off, or when I'm off, I'm not off by this much. Um, but this is a very binary searchable answer. Um, hmm. I mean, you can make some minor optimizations. Like, for example, this can be equal to max of nums or something like that. But, but that's going to be just, like, slightly faster, right? Like, I don't think that's going to be... Uh, uh, I mean, it is faster. But, yeah, like I said, I didn't expect it to make that much of a difference. Um, hmm. Maybe it is time for me to learn. Dun, dun, dun. Let me think. If I start with the smallest number, what can I do? Well, okay. Another way to think about it, right? So one, one, one observation that we made was that we're moving one number from the right to the left. But what if we can just take the max number to the right of this, right? Let's say we have the min and then the max, and then we can kind of, you know, fill that out. But I don't know that that's going to that's gonna be fast with 10 to the f uh, fifth number of elements, right? Because in theory, you look at every number, you say one, and then you go, okay, let's go to the next number, which is a four, I guess, the next smallest number. And then you take, I don't know, the six, and then make, I don't know, right? Because after that, you have to change like this to a thing, and then I don't know. That feels a little bit awkward. Hmm. I'm trying to think right now what the uh, what the greedy situation is. Hmm. As I, I mean, some of it to be honest is because we're having a greedy week on lead code, and I'm just trying to um trying to think about. How to do this really without using binary search? Uh, and it's something. This is definitely one of my weak points. So I am going to try at least a little bit. And maybe I won't go all the way if I'm just struggling. Um, but hmm, can we sort? Like if we have the one, we get some numbers to the, from the right. But how 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 do you know how many numbers you want to go to the to the left, right? The next number is four. Then you have six. It's a, the opposite is maybe take the biggest number. But then how do you even give like know how many to give to the smallest, right? Like how how do you know? Like you take the biggest number and then give it distribute it to the left, right? Um hmm. Minimum possible but of the maximum value. So you always want to take the maximum and then make it smaller. But if you, you can't do it one at a time because numbers is going to be very big. I'm just trying to think. I mean, so obviously you can do it one by one, maybe. But I'm also just trying to think 
is there a cleaner way? Right, like six. So we, you know, we give this a three, and this is a four, maybe, and then this is a six, and then we give, you know, make this a five. But, but you know, you can also give to multiple elements, right? Like if this is a one, 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 six, then you know, you kind of spread them out. Oh, I think there, now that I think about it that way. I see, huh? So the way that I'm thinking about it now, and I have to figure, I I have to actually clean clean it up to figure it out. But let me let me uh, bring out the drawing pad so I could kind of visualize this. I think, uh, okay. I mean, it's it, you know, for me, uh, you know, uh, for for the viewers at home, uh, this is not gonna lie this is mostly for me uh, at this point in a, I mean maybe it's for you too and I appreciate you if you're watching it let, uh, and if you're still watching let me know in the comments if you're watching the new DD movie it's supposed to be good I don't know if that's like propaganda or ads or whatever but yeah okay let me just draw this so basically my idea is that okay let's say we have oh, that didn't draw well uh, let's say we have you know three seven one six and the way that I visualize this is just having um uh, uh, just visualizing it physically, right? So you have three. Okay, pretend that's a straight line. That's terrible drawing. Okay, more straight. Seven, one, and then six, right? And then the idea here is that if we're going from uh, right to left. <clears throat> and I have to figure out... Uh, I have to figure out how all these things combine. But... Basically, if we're going to right to left, that means that what we actually want is that, you know, basically, if you want to have a perfect answer, oh, I thought I changed the colors. If you want a perfect answer, it's just going to be uh, the sum of these areas, right, divided by the, the width of the area. So basically, you're redistributing it into a rectangle that fits this. And now that you have a seven, maybe you have a, a rectangle that looks like this. Right, and then you kind of do the math that way. Um, of course, you have to kind of make sure you um, make sure that you you uh, when you track this that to the left there's no bigger thing. But then I think as you do that, then you basically just able to check, right? So maybe you get like the max of the first k elements, and then you kind of do it that way. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if that's a perfect answer. But I think that's the way that I'm going to start doing it. And of course, I didn't put it on screen, so you didn't really see me draw it. Let me put it on screen really quickly. That's, that's basically what I was doing. Sorry, friends, if it looks like I was just, I don't know. I don't know what it looked like I was doing. Let me know in the comments what it looked like I was doing. But basically, I was drawing this. Um, basically, what I'm saying is that if you drew the, the histogram, it's not really a histogram, but basically like the graph, um, you can think about just drawing a rectangle uh, of, uh, yeah, so now instead of one and six, you have an uh, an area seven rectangle, which you can round up to four, I suppose, right? Uh, and yeah, and then now maybe we have a prefix max. That part I'm not so sure about, but yeah. So then now for x and nums, uh, prefix dot append x plus prefix one, right? So now we have a prefix max situation. Oh, no, 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 we don't. <laughs> I just got so used to writing that. Uh, uh. That, uh, okay, now we have a prefix max situation. What is this? That's oh, I don't know what's going on on my desk. Okay, um, okay, and then now we go from uh, go backwards, right? And then maybe we have like area is equal to zero, and then now we have area we add it to num sub i, right? Um, and then now the max to the right, basically the, the areas that we have factored in is equal to. Um, so let's say we have best is equal to zero. Uh, best is equal to some big infinity-ish number. So then to the right side, it's going to be the area over the numbers that we have seen, which is n minus i, right? Um, we want this to round up. So that means that this is going to be, uh, so we add this to n minus i, plus one, right? 
Oh, sorry, minus one. Uh, you could prove to yourself why that is true. And then max left is just equal to prefix of i plus one. Uh, but that includes the cell, so we want it to be i because one strictly left. And then now best is equal to the min of best and then max of max left, max right. And then we return best. Okay, well. Uh, why do I get six? Oh, hmm. I think I'm doing. So that works if it is. Hmm. So that works for if I'm going from higher to lower. I feel like I'm missing one trick. Hmm. Uh, what do I do in this case? I actually was thinking about this and then I forgot. <laughs> this happens too much when I'm on the video. Um, man, greedy is hard. Once we get something higher, what happens? Like, let's say in the, in the worst case, we have something like, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, or something, right? Dot, dot, dot. So we have 1, you add it to 2. So, okay, dot, 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 you have 2, 1, right? So we have 1, we add it to 2, but then we shouldn't add it to 2. We should only do I want mm. hmm. Let me think about this. I feel like th this is just like a case I have to um, analyze. Basically, if the average mm, like if area over n minus i minus one that we can't focus this actually starts off zero but maybe just like previous is you go to zero say and at the end previous is you go to max right but If the previous is bigger than number sub i, then we continue maybe? Mm. So this goes at one. Oh, the other way around, whoops. Yeah, that, but then it returns. Um, well, first we want to, uh, maybe that's a little bit better. Mm. Then this is seven. But I think that just happens to be lucky that we are able to do it, though, to be honest. Uh, that it was right uh, to begin with. Did I submit? No. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Because this is saying that, okay, now we have seven. Uh, this is going to be eight, 14, divided by three is going to, uh, this is going to turn out to be five. Oh, well. I don't know if this is right. 
I mean, it fixed these things, but I don't know that I believe in it at all. Uh, oh, I thought I was typing in it. Why does it take so long now? Yeah, I'm not very confident about the solution, given that I got it wrong. I feel like that that's the general idea. But hmm. Man, I really don't know how to do this, apparently. Um I mean I'm gonna just see if there's a greedy solution. Maybe Maybe I don't know how to do it. I mean that's just binary search. Is it just binary search? Prefix some average. That's what I was trying to do. But huh. Oh, I see. Hmm. I was trying to think about it backwards, but if you think about it forwards, I see. Hmm. It's because everything in the back can be moved to the front. So you want to take care of the front in that way. Um, this is kind of, uh, this is so hard. I mean, at least this solution. I mean, you know, we got some solution, but I think I get it in the same logic that I had it, but that's kind of hard. I mean, the logic is very similar. But hmm. something like that, maybe. Apparently not. Oh, it's this and then do I need the suffix thing? Huh, I don't know anymore, friends. And then we want max of this and suffix of i plus one. Same idea, but going the other way. So three, yep. So this is five. Did I have an off by one? What? Oh, hmm, I am dumb. I mean, there may be other stuff, but I'm dumb for that one at least. Uh, this is six. I don't know if I get this anymore. Uh, let's take a look at the linear solution again. I don't get this one. <laughs> okay, binary search. Said, took like eight sentences before it said binary search. It's kind of weird, but okay, fine. I thought I had. Mm, I thought I had something similar. I don't. I don't think I understand this one at all. To be honest, friends. So yeah. I mean, I I, I get it, but I don't. I don't know if I get it, friends. Uh, I might have to, uh, greedy problems are so hard, so, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I just need to take a break, so, uh, I don't know, friends, um, I don't know how to prove this, 
I mean, I, I yeah. I'm useless today, friends. Oh, snaps. I, I left it up, didn't I? Okay, well, I didn't. And I failed in multiple ways. Uh, this is the solution that I finally got accepted. I don't know if you saw. Um, but basically, I tried it the other way with suffix, and it didn't really work. So, uh, yeah, I tried it with prefix some. I was basically trying to do the thing, do exactly the same thing, but I was doing it backwards from the back up, and I couldn't get it to work. Um, sorry that I kind of didn't, uh, I don't know. This is a terrible video all around. Hopefully the binary search is good enough for you. Uh, that's all I have for today. My apologies that this video is terrible. I don't know. I I, I, I don't have enough energy to, I don't know. I am way lost and confused by this form. So I'll probably do some studying offline. Uh, if you want to leave a, a question or, you know, whatever, uh, let me know um, in the comments. Uh, but yeah, but the visualization is r roughly the same. Um, uh, I wish I showed you everything. Sorry, friends. Anyway, that's all I have for today, though. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.